hello. Mic check, one, two. All day, every day. Lost my voice. That's Fizzler. 17 months. Plus saves. That's right, man. Learn to paint. Makes you makes you makes you play better. Three of my active students are in top cut for the championships. The Huff. Love minis. Try Sarah Chops. Russ. That's weird. So, oh, you converted from a gay, a prime gaming sub. I see. So that's weird. Just said you did that. Rhea Prey. Yo, it's my man Wa74. What's up, brother? Oh, Mr. Funk, this. What you been up to, man? Long time, brother. Simon, not the literal best of all, but getting close. Good day from OZ Big Bad Kenny Boucher. Planning a wedding. Mr. Funk D. What's up, man? You like my email? You got my email?
planning. You're planning your wedding. You, because you sent us the engagement pictures a while back. I remember. You're doing your wedding at a castle? Ballin'. That's, that's, that's some ballin' shit right there. Funk D. Back in Florida, baby. Barely been here this year. I'm finally back for a good stint now. Been AFK all fucking year, man. Back in the beat slab. Decepticon 2024 behind us. I pick up some extra shifts. The Long John Silvers. Gotta pay for those four locos. Idiot in a red page. Eight month streak right there. He was telling me it's my eight month anniversary. Could have sworn I already had it. Yeah, I kind of feel like it's been longer than that. Let's hope that this internet holds true. I looked into the T-Mobile backup. It's not available in my area. Dr. D, they won't even, they won't even do it. They're like, sorry, bro. I got on the wait list, bro.
All right, when, in, when are we playing Helldivers? Nah, it's time for 40K now. Gotta let the video game addiction... You, you just gotta take it, run with it, then you gotta get exhausted. So I don't, I'm not picking up another video game right now. Now it's time to take this period, this like, bowl to get the edge lunch done. One plus says we got Diablo 4 about to be good. I wrote Dog says new cast codex inbound. Yeah, man, I got I got I gotta focus on this 40k action. Recoil in chat. What's up, brother? Dog Kenny Boucher here, next level painting. Hitting you up on that lynchable best of all days. Coming to you live from that beat slab. Fuck. Coming to you live from that beat slab in Citrus County. That's that's my that's my shit now. Jason Lucas coming in from Face BZ. So how was the con this year? I missed it. It was amazing, dude. Torjan, what's up, brother? Ty winning. So your painting goals have suffered. As they have you, you prioritized managed democracy. I don't know what that means. Caddy painting, what's up, guys? Recoil tuning in. <laughs> Dr. T. Cyberpunk, 1600 hours. Disco, what's up, man? Chaotic Painting and Rants and Vomit. So I just sent out a bunch of gift bags, recognizing a lot of these names. I put out 10 packages this morning. We're on track. Copious, what's up, man? The resub, Animos, Magic, what's up, dog? Thanks, guys. We look good. So, depth account was tight. Wyatt Turk, Jack Close painting, he made it out. The whole gang was back together. First time in years. Long War doubles, 256 players. The uh, event results are up on the QR code, the link. 
a link tree. 256 players, 128 teams. And I think we only, and that was like start. That was that was what we started with. Maybe only like two drops around three. So that's a big deal. Wells, tuning in from YouTube. What's up, man? Recoil, yeah, it was. People kept asking. They're like, "What if they just let you have this whole whole haul? Like, what if they didn't put a limiter on this?" It's like, I mean, yeah, they have to cut out the championships, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, people like the championship stills. Even though the doubles and the friendlies, we share the room with the friendlies, and they also have like 256 players. So we have 500 people playing 40K. It's more than the championships. One plus saves. Yeah, yeah but talk about like we started with 256. I put everyone in the wait list in the tournament. And then throughout the tournament, only like two teams dropped. We didn't have to do buys or anything. What's going on here? My playlist keeps stuttering. What plus saves? Yeah, it was. It's like what I'm saying is like extremely low drop rate, max attendance. Mr. Funk Dizzle, no one tried to flush any dice. No, not in our event. Our event's 80% hobby score. From what I heard too, we were we ran it tighter than the Adepticon teams. Like our uh, we had a, we had a paint judge staff led by player J. Tiniest of all Canadians on that staff was Rottweiler, Eli from I don't know what he posts as he's a student. A bunch of my students. The player J is not a student, but he's. He watches. He's been helping with the doubles for years. Eli was watching. Was, was, is a student. He was helping. Rottweiler's a student. He was in the judge staff. Uh, Go point seventy six. Student chat. He was in our judge staff. Um, who else? Who else was on our our judge squad? These guys even here? War Pigman, what's up, brother? I was just thinking of you for some reason. There's Go Boy. Go Boy, who else was on this on the squad? Our squad was extremely efficient. Go Boy, Rottweiler, Eli, Player J. Do we just have like a four man squ squad? I think we did. Templar in the house. And so we got through all, I mean, they handled business. Yeah, we had a thing. So we had a four man squad. Player J with a Google Doc that he had everyone on, and he fucking got the scores in quick. No, like, no hassle. We 
after that, I think that's it. I mean, I should be running our shit tight. Like, Adepticon, see how, like, Adepticon does the four-man teams? And there's more. Obviously, there's more teams for players. But, uh, you see how we're able to, like, shut everyone through registration, get everyone out there, get a bunch of prejudging done, and then kind of, like, put the onus on the players to, like, flag down judges, and then through process of elimination, casually throughout the event, we get the rest of them scoring. So, I think this was our best year yet. No mistakes. Everything, I mean, everything was tight. It was so good. Go, boy. Okay. We had our, we had uh, Chick-fil-A for lunch, courtesy of Wyatt. Well, actually, petty cash sales from Long War Merch paid for lunch. We had Midwest Diarrhea Beer. Shout out to Go Boy. John Patrick showed up. And he brought us Fago. So we had unlimited Fagos. Shout out to Arthur, financial CPA, financial guru, spreadsheets. Rob Bear walking around doing stuff. So, yeah. Type. Now, as is tradition, giveaway. We always do a post at the Con giveaway. Bet River Brewing, Rock Island, Illinois. That's what you got me. Fucking like jalapeno beer. So, I forgot my event badge the entire weekend. And then, like, I just stroll in Saturday night or Sunday morning. Sunday morning, I walked up. There's like five badges left. I was like, yo, can I get my badge? Because they make these really nice lanyard badges, man. Like, super, like, with your name on it and everything. Cat Sith Minis. I saw Cat Sith Minis at Adepticon. So I made sure to snag my badge before I walked out of there. Do it in my bag. So I always like to give that away when I get back. It's straight up 2024 memorabilia with a sick collectible lanyard on it. This thing is legit. Didn't even wear it. So top three D giveaway today. I've actually actually have a another thing oh this is why i thought of warping <laughs> so inside this bag is what's left from my lord of skulls build the rest of the sprue mystery bag of bits and then matt from pop goes the monkey was walking around with a con exclusive captain ursula claw so, this also is in the mix. Top 3D. I could sign the badge if requested. War pigment. <laughs> Thanks, brother. That's my dude right there. See, now you know I was thinking of you, right? Because I was clipping all these nonsense Lord of Skulls bits off, and I was like, why am I imagining these are glued to a Tyranid for some fucking insane reason? Crazy says, LVO is usually January. Yes. Yes, sir. So we're finally back. Let me, let me put it this way, guys. We... We weren't here in February. We missed essentially a week of streaming in, in January. And in March, 
I missed the opening weekend of March. Then I missed throughout the month a couple of days for various personal reasons and tragedies. And then go to Adepticon, missed the weekend, and I'm back. So <laughs> we've essentially streamed for like five weeks worth of streams this year. But this now we're into it though. War Pigment says I know there's at least two blood barrels in there. Yeah you do. Yo, is that Dub Sherman, aka the Wisher Man? Yo, what up, dude? I just saw your folder the other day when I was going through uh, packing stuff. I was like, yo, what's Dub Sherman at? Crazy says, won't be able to go next year. Transfer in December. Should be able to get to Adepticon. Hell yeah. Better get your, you better get that squared up when they do hotel blocks. I think usually in November. So as far as promos go, you guys here heard it. Acon, exclamation point Acon. Uh, still looking for new patrons. Exclamation point super post, exclamation point patrons. This is the future for me. Becoming stable. Uh, I did a uh, chronicle update on the Ranger. So it's booked to get its paint job 15th of April. And I got the interior upholstery. We done today. Uh, I, had a, I had to schedule that in advance. That was this morning at 8 a.m. So new new ceiling install. She was crumbling dust. So close to operational transportation. 2004 Ford Ranger. My truck took me from coast to coast to coast. Kramus. What up, Kenny? Have a good time at Adepticon? Hells yeah, dude. So those are our promos. Now let's 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 move over to the work desk. So I'm tell you what, man, I'm excited to finally get focused on these edge lords uh and why it did gift me is juggernaut corn juggernaut that i was sweating when i was in austin so that's gonna be corn demon prince but outside of that you know you gotta paint up all these models and we're almost done with the lord of skulls which i'll show you here in a second if you're just tuning in but Aramon is our next big play. I thought I was going to have the Lord of Skulls done in time. Shit came up. It was not. But this guy is my next sponsored project. So we got to get this guy going. So this is where we left off. On the beast. He's got a few coats of varnish on him now. Edge Lord mode. Got the uh, torso looking real fresh. Real proud of this cod piece and ab plate being blue together. And then that's carving out the magentas here and the ribs. 
That makes me happy. I don't think I've seen anyone do that. Recoil's mom in chat. What's up? How you doing, Recoil's mom? My mom just came back from the doctors today. She's got to have her gallbladder or gallbladder taken out. Next month. Moms, right? We pray your mom just had that done. Still dragging. Your wife's in the hospital for that right now. Man, what's going on with people's gallbladders? So we've got to get these shoulders done. It's not a priority. Got to get the arms done. Face, this armor piece, and of course, this beast. Be your praise. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Go, boy. This is weird, but your brother might need to get his room too. What the fuck? So, this is like a thing. That sucks. Ugh. Poor mom. Sch scheduled up for next month. So. Here's where we're at. Do we build this together? Try to work this out. The sub-assembly nature of Armon. Or do we try to paint on the Lord of Skulls? What do you guys want to see? Recoil's mom, tell her I'm thinking of her. I shall. Finish the Lord. Great Prey wants to see me finish the Lord. Oh, it just got deployed, Go Boy, and they gotta take that shit out? Fuck you. Oh, man likes it raw. Or Pigment. Says, as it turns out, tea isn't water. My pick is Lord of Skulls. We get some strong man love and chat for War Pigment. That's two for the skulls. Templar, do you have a money in the bank? Is that what you're asking about? Do you? Motherfucker, I don't keep track of them. I just, be I just believe you when you say. I don't fucking keep track of things. What do it look like, man? Did you have more than one? How about that? Can you answer that question accurately? Did you have more than one money in the bank? Maybe is the worst. Thing. <laughs> I 
I don't have like a spreadsheet of money to bank prize winners. Pray Prey has like a dozen. I mean, he's like, but I choose to let my man cook. Fine, Templar. I think you have more than one. I know you used one. It seems accurate to me that you have more than one. You want Airmon painted like a blast pop? You can't do that unless you run it by a Sunshine Grenadier. It's his sponsored tutorial. If you can talk him into it, yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you can get him, if you can get him to green like that. He said yes? Okay. Let's do it. Because I know you definitely asked him. <laughs> Definitely has to. All right. We'll try to talk him. He's already kind of like that. We'll try to talk Sunshine Grenadier into this. Okay, so here's what we'll do. I'll pull out the airbrush, get some work on the loader skulls done. Then we'll move on to Aramon while it's some of that stuff is drying. So let me get this thing going. This thing is spitting out a lot of water. That's an unusual amount of water. Hold on a second. Let me see what's going on here. I think it just, I think I spilled it. Some clean water in this cup. Just gonna cycle it through. Get some of that simple green out of there.
Toxic Phoenix, what's up, man? Dog Cat Jones. I just sent you a, uh, a gift bag. NS Ogre, what's up, man? It's glad you had a good weekend. Look at the blast. It was, man. Thank you. Free calls, Mom. Did I have a good time? I did. Okay. Did this thing shut off again? Like, it's like the playlist is broken on the same song every time. Yeah. It gets to the song and it won't go further. Weird. Glad I paid him. And every other minute gets lost in a year. Every half an hour, someone's pointing at me. And once in a while, I feel the shadow of the guilt I'm passing by. Right. I feel the shadow of my sins. I've reached the point where I can't stop the pain that I have caused. I'm a victim. I'm a victim of Let's put some primer in the pot. Yo, I was kicking it with uh, the Monument Hobbies crew at their booth at Depticon. They were fucking slaying it, guys. Blasting any dust off this thing. And we're going to just spray this with some dark neutral gray. Looking for a big cone. Real simple. Love on. <laughs> Templar, just remember that Satin Black could have been your signature series. <laughs> I already have it though. K 
cat said many says picked up so much paint with them from them this weekend. Yeah, they they were they're fucking out of control. The line was fake. They had uh play me on miniatures there. So they brought him out from Poland. Little cloggage. trying to do is finally just get these parts prepped. But blowing any dust off them. Little clogs. I am the fire. I am the one they call for fire. All of you other fakes, you are liars. I am nice and even. Whoops. I do have magnets in these arms. Trying to get up all in those recesses. This is about to fall. Little cloggage. Airbrush has been sitting in evaporating simple green for like a week. It's sticking right here is where it's really sticking. Keep forgetting. She's using that like high pressure. Uh yeah, this fucking playlist just doesn't work anymore. I need to I need to call somebody about this. Hey, my tunes, guys. Keeps on burning. Hey, fire. Make another flame. Who's safe? Down to the wire. 
So I'm just using dark neutral gray. Because I want something dark, but it doesn't need to be, it does not even be need to be anywhere near black. There is a gauntlet right here. this thing is so I left this separated this thing's a whole a whole thing I don't even really have a way to mess with it right now should have magnetized it Buddy Funster, what's up, brother? Yeah, why didn't I magnetize this? What was I thinking? Oh, honestly. Like, this should 100% just be a magnet. This should be a magnet in here. Barthaki and what's up, brother? Let me see what we're working with in this nipple right here. Just want to see because I'm down to cut it off and just glue it. But if we can countersink it. Even a little bit. Let's see how much solid plastic is actually in here. And sometimes using the exacto blade to do like on something like this is smarter than the drill bit. Mark, 1011, says, I'm here to learn. Just purchased a 40K limited set. Hell yeah, brother. About to learn real quick. So I'm just going to kind of keep pouring this out. See how big of a hole actually show up. So if I can get like... Let me see, what magnets actually split? So I've got these magnets, right? But I've also got these thick magnets, and, but I'm not sure these thick magnets are actually that strong. And they're kind of weak. Like I'm just doing like a, a, a test. like lifting it yeah I kind of feel like this this big magnet is just like a waste Flat ones are way stronger. These ones. So what I want is I want to get a before I paint this 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 fucker. Let's get a magnet in here because you know we're gonna fucking obliterate this guy. Trying to 
do surgery on it after we paint it. So I want to keep as much nipple intact as possible for when we for the actual placement. So I want to I want to just extract the minimum amount of that dome needed to actually embed and countersink a magnet in here. Let me see. I think I have a really fat drill bit too. Where's my where's my big boy? Mark, you want to learn shading and feathering? Says. Fuck is my thing. Ah, literally right here. So I've got this big ass drill bit right here. So this, I'm gonna use this here now that I've got it piloted. To help round out, round it out. I'm gonna just wallow the hole out, it's tilting. And now we're through. what we want is that hole to be big enough for this disc magnet right here see we're not there yet and I don't think I don't think we can actually get it without without carving more off so we're gonna have to slice a little bit more off like barely you want to be careful though you don't want to remove all of it Start hacking up on the up on turn after getting with some Adepticon Concred on the up turn. God damn, I can't read this shit. Yeah, I lost my voice from the, running the Devils event, but I'm doing okay otherwise. So I'm gonna manually scrape this thing. And the reason I, I the reason I'm doing this now, like I said, if we Wait until after we paint this part, it'll be a disaster. Oh, we're close, boys. That's great, because then a little bit will stick out, which is what I want. I want a little bit of a nub. We're leaving that plastic barrier intact to hold the magnet in place. See? So we can get that in there. Oh, I got my new super glue kit. Love minis, are you watching? Love mini sent me like 400 of these little super glues.
So I'm using, oh no, I'm using the smaller magnets to kind of push the bigger magnet in. Not quite good enough. I'm even gonna go a step further. Put a little puddle right there. Cause I want the rim. Have some glue. Right there, baby. Nurgle Matthew, what's up, brother? Got it. So I used the back of the exacto uh, blade. Which is like aluminum or something. Push that in. Oh no, I just dropped the magnets all up in that super glue. Shouldn't matter because as far as I can tell, super glue doesn't work on magnets. So you put your hand in. Instructions not included. What's up, man? Thank you for the follow. I went in. Is that what the kids call bumping docks? Yeah. So, chilling right there. That goes in here. Kind of feel like we can almost just raw dog a magnet. We just primed this. So this is the best time to do this. I feel like if I just kind of hit that center spot. Hit it with the drill. I'm really just trying to flatten it out in there. So I think it'll take a magnet right on it. I have this really big flat disc right here. I have a feeling that I go in. Oh, too big. I just wanted that. Just want to kind of flatten this area out, not necessarily countersink it. What about this fat one that I said it's weaker? Will that actually hold it? So I'm just testing the strength of this thing. Too thick.
I think we can get away with that. using these fingers to kind of keep it there and I'm gonna dribble some accelerator in this crevasse let's see if this holds so the magnet is attached to the axe side and we want it to now glue to the arm side find out here in a second this is the uh, the gauntlet Want to, so now let's let's see how lucky we are. Ah, second nerd. All right, that's what we want. That's a deep dive right there. Now let's see if we can spray some primer on it. Fuck. So I'm going to stick this something metal it's on my light arm right now. Ballin'. Do a second pass. Good enough right there. a little more and one of my things that I like to do is I'll take the glaze medium pour a bunch in there because this is basically just acrylic medium so 
So what we're gonna put inside this pot is more primer, a little water, but a shitload of acrylic medium. So this is lowered. In, we've lowered the opacity of the primer, but really up its uh, medium game. So it's kind of like a, uh, a like a varnish and a filter at the same time. So this will be more sturdy, my experience. So I come in for another quick pass with this. And it's very low opacity and safe. But what we're doing is essentially varnishing it right now too, like a half varnish to really just sturdy up the uh, foundation of this uh, primer. it's clogging like crazy because it's uh, so thick here's the arm we just installed the magnet on Classic technique. As you guys know just as much as I do, the airbrush primer is weak compared to a, a, a rattle can enamel. So you gotta do whatever it takes. Recoil, what's up, man? Love minis. One plus saves. Now, what I will do now, is rinse this out. Yo, it's Max Payne. What's up, brother? What's up, no C, man? Oh, let's see if we can find a transparent white. We're going to use the transparent white to set a little bit of a pre-highlight motion or more saturated colors. We're going to try to raw dog this as well. So this is not really like, this is not like set up all priming or anything that people like to call it. What we're doing is we're setting up better priming practices. So... I want to be I want there to be an incredibly saturated blue here. So we need to be way closer to white than this to achieve that result with without having to paint it a thousand times. Okay. Just aiming center mass. Straight up transparent white for Monument Hobbies.
We got the head as well. This thing, the corn hat. Shout out to Rocket Chicken. What's up, player? It's another legend. On time, no see, man. What are you up to? Troop Smash. What's up? How you doing, man? Oh. Same thing right here. Got skulls. Embedded in his armor, which I hate. I hate it when they do that on core models. Get a set up. Arms are going to be in the magenta spectrum. Shoulders blue. Time's up on YouTube, so I'll take an AP shrimp basket with a Coke Zero large, please. Got you, man. So we're just doing a better prime job. Support the saturation we're attempting to achieve here. So the closer to white, the more saturated our final application will be. You don't need to do this. You normally just work it right off of black. But when you're going for something hyper-saturated and excessively large like this, it's never a bad idea. To do something like this. Yeah, I'm going to just spray this thing too. Gauntlet. Just gonna kind of top down it right here. The Sam Hamwich, what's up, brother? True Smash has hobo painting hacks. Oh, I already said that. I was asking him how he was doing. All right, so shoulder. It's primed. Basically, it's just view it as like we primed it. Dark gray in the recesses. Bright gray in the tops of things. It's going to be a little bit more opaque. Arm head. Arm gauntlet. And this is where we're at on the on the unit. Oh, we also have the axe. I gotta do the axe. Now 
This is our Chaos Edgelord color scheme for our new uh, custom Chaos chapter. We've been doing the green, purple, green, pink combo for so many years. Uh, now it's old. It's not new. It's been done. So this has been our project moving forward with our new color scheme, the Edgelords. Set this out of the splash zone. King of the Hatch, what's up, brother? True Smashes can't complain, just living and listening in while cooking dinner for my bums. Hip down. Your bums meaning like your children? <laughs> He's like, yep. Do they pay rent or anything yet? Are they still like, are they still babies. Just do a little rinse. Let's cut the compressor. Teenagers, the teenagers, so even more broke. But not working yet. So the teenagers who can't work. So maximum option. Okay, so we're back from Adepticon. I want to get the Edge Lords done so fast. So I'm gonna show you what, like, where, like, where my inspirations been. I've got that camera trick right now. Okay, let me see. Where's my lair? Boom, check it out. So there's all the action in there. So we brought all of this, most of that to Adepticon, and it's not all Edgelords. We're just having it unpacked, you know, just fucking pulling them out, putting them back in there, and then looking over here, that's stuff I want to paint, right? And then coming back to my desk with that guy still on it, I'm like, okay, I know what I must do. I know what I must do. And so, so begins the Chronicle. But, let's jump into a whip session, guys. See what you guys are working on. What did you guys do uh, this weekend? I didn't do any painting. Nothing. I was a bum. And a fucking goddamn playlist just doesn't work anymore. Tight.
Mr. Funk Dizzle. Does a tra does that cash travel? No. That's custom collectibles. Right here. Three those are like three D print uh highly luxury cases that you put together and paint. They do not travel. Let me see if I can get some music queued up. Pop open Discord. Back from Adepticon, long word doubles, 256 players. Finally back, basically for the rest of the year now. 2024 can now fucking start here on this platform. Exclamation point Akon, doing our ceremonial, traditional post Adepticon wrap up. Giveaway. Pop over to the whips. Monument hobby, seventy eight man raid. Just all these guys. Get some, let's get some hype in the chat right here for Monument. Getting ready to do a little whip sesh. Exclamation point whip. Crashing Adam 37 months says, I'm confused. Was there a convention, but Kenny does not have COVID? The universe is out of balance. <laughs> yeah, man. You know what I'm thinking? I didn't get it at Adepticon last year either. It's either Vegas. I got it at LVO both years. So I am either getting COVID from Vegas, not LVO. Or I'm getting it from LVO and then my immune system is maxed out for Adepticon. Mr. Funk Dizzle, look at this gangster. Wade Tomatai. Troops mask, gotta stop open mouth kissing the ladies of the night. I don't kiss ladies. I only kiss Rob, Wyatt, Matt. Play, Eli, Jesse, Arthur. That's it. Yo, Mr. Funk D. So you got good at painting. Eh, look at this nonsense. I love this texture. I love this goblin on her skateboard. Joe MN. What's up, brother? I just I got to hang out with him at Adepticon. We did a bunch of hanging out in front of the monument booth. Joe 
Joe, yeah, Joe M.M. almost got a kiss, too. We got a picture, not a kiss. Mr. Joe M.M. Had a great conversation with him. He was asking me for uh, a referral, like if I can... Be on his, uh, what's that thing that people fill out for resume? I don't know if I could be on his resume because he was looking for a low paying, mildly entertaining position in part time capacity. Dead serious. Mr. Funk Dizzle says, I leveled up with Kenny like a year ago. That's right. Mr. Funk Dizzle took my classes. You want to get OP? You want to learn how to paint like Mr. Funk D? Took my lessons. Exclamation point class. <laughs> Dr. D over here with the Miracle Whip. I was at that Target again. I think I took a picture. Did I forget to post it? My most controversial picture of 2023 was at the Target in Schaumburg. Let's see, I think I took a bat. I think I took another picture this year. Let me find it. Did I forget to take it? Ah, oh, I got it. I'll have to post it. Joe says, correct. I'm putting you on my list, dude. Although you might scare Minnesotans. I'll be like, yo, Kenny Bichet, Next Level Gaming Corp, CEO. I might help you. I'll be like, yo, what do you know about Joe MN? I'll be like, yo, that dude's a stand-up guy. Oh, he'll do anything. He'll, he'll do what it takes. He's a real team player. He'll do literally anything. Beautiful work, Mr. Funk D. Grats on the wedding. Getting married in the castle. We got copious amounts. Working that kill team. Tiger Stripe Bomb Squig. Oh, I love it, dude. Love it. <laughs> Look at this guy. Like, the, Bomb Squig looks like a Pokemon. Mark he says he doesn't have an air gun. Exclamation point gear. Got a gear list, baby. It's all the shit I use. Copious. Loving it, dude. I 
I like his little belly. If you're new to the chat, exclamation point info. We do have a reward contest just for washing and donating. You get swag. I just put out 10 swag bags in the mail this morning. Shout out to all our sponsors. Uh, that's how we get these bags out in the mail. I've been a little behind because of this year's uh, obligations, but we're back on track. As soon as I got home, guys, literally sat down, uh, generated 10 labels, and put them out. We're going to keep that pace. It is very comic booky. I love it. The Sam Hamwich. Who is Chaplin? Love this guy. Very cool looking. A little dirty from the, I think the iPhone photo. This picture, maybe this is a flash. Maybe it's too much light on him. This picture really shows it. Get a close up like this in lower light, maybe. Yeah, it looks awesome though. Which is got your election. So you do. Take your time. Credits never expire. Looking beautiful, brother. We got a Templar in here. Templar just sent you a package as well. <coughs> Templar. With the neon green predator. Love these guys. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that smoke grenade too, Copious. Yeah, Templar is really doing a great job on these guys. Value paint with monument fluorescent paint for uh, purple. Came out beautiful. Sam, oh no. That's wrong. I'm going out of order. Kramus. Another one of my students. He's power leveling. So is Templar. But Kramus is power is doing 5,000 points of works. 
Look at this shit. Holy fuck, Kramus. That's incredible, dude. Damn, that chap owns the sixth model you ever painted. Looking for it. Looks really good, man. Pretty damn good. Look at this. Ray Missy Legend. Sam. He's got a plasma cannon for us. Or plasma accelerator, whatever the fuck it's called. Hell, you painted it. The, you painted it the try hard way, with the whites inside the recesses. Ramus, you said. I had to realize I was getting better and can't pay everything to my highest level if I'm ever going to get done. That's right. Quality is its own quantity, or quantity is its own quality. Sam, oils, baby. Yeah, a little bit of oil and spirits. Get the white tucked inside there. Oh, it's sick. Zaf. Is that white? Achieved by oils, yes. That's what he's saying. Use the oils and spirits to get him in there. War pigment. There we go. I love it. This is radical, man. <laughs> Zaf exclamation point whip takes it to the Discord server.
classic war pigment. Oh, road dog, let's take a look here. Airship. Looks like you lost control of this o this OSL effect. Looks like you tried to underpaint it, but then when you spray the green over it, it just got too opaque. Transparent green I was, for Monument? I was going to ask you if it was that. That green's real saturated like a drop inside of a bucket of water is still green <laughs> better off I mean I would have you could have sprayed it with transparent white first and then just use like any green and you would have been fine And this is the base. All these flowers are awesome. Those are the new uh, Gamers Grass ones. Uh, here's my here's my picture literally proving that mayo and miracle whip are in the same aisle therefore miracle whip is me because there's also salad dressing in this aisle and everyone's argument is that mayo whip is salad dressing. But there's salad dressing, which is its own little section. Then mayo and miracle whip in their own section. They're clearly defined by target, which is the highest power. There's two separate entries. Mayo is miracle whip. And then there is also salad dressing. And if, Mar and if Miracle Whip was salad dressing, put it on your fucking salad. Oh, wait. Yeah, you won't. Because that shit ain't salad dressing. Mac Allen. That's not what it takes. It's not even what makes it mayo. Target is the highest power. 
They say salad dressing and mayo. And the mayo is and the miracle whip are in the same section. So that so clearly they are one category, salad dressing is another. Tar according to Target, the highest power. The authority. I don't make the rules, man. I don't make the rules. I just go to Target. I go to the mayo aisle. And I buy America Whip because it's mayo. The Mac Allen, he says it must be a U.S. thing. No target in Canada. Right. Like, Amer like U United States is like the target of North America. You see, like, the authority of mayo. Daft, well, this is this is nice. This is really nice. Some nice airbrushing here. Let's see what's going on. Literally, just stops on this same track every time. This track, defiant, is broken. How do I make it leave? I can't even control F. How do I make it leave my fucking playlist, yo? Bro, you broke my pay my playlist, son. What is going on here? Can I edit it? Edit playlist. No. Click playlist. Come on, this is this is like the 80th time it, it broke. Sorry. Zaf, we're gonna look at your shit in one second. Can't focus without my music. There it is. Trash. Firm. Big guy. Fire keeps on burning. Hey, there's a trash bin. Throw that shit away, Red Coat. Some of it's airbrush, some of it's dry brushing over a couple glazes and some edge highlights. Really proud of the OSL. Chromatic black oil wash. Let's take a look. So, I like all this airbrushing. All this, all these transitions are beautiful. The edge highlights are a little uh, choppy. So that's the that's 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 what's holding the back right now. So, a little bit more respect. So it looks like you're going for like the brightest line and you're just wrapping, you're just dragging it all the way across. 
which is fine if you're a robot and you don't make mistakes. So sometimes what you need to do is kind of like sit in between. Like if you use a couple different grays in the pot, you know, for example, then kind of pick the gray that's brighter than this gray relative. You know, drop that line in first and then maybe just, you know, slice a little bit of this white on top. And usually that'll that'll help you, you, you know, if you make some mistakes, like it gets a little choppy, it'll kind of just blend in. That's what the, the concept of value-based respect when you're edge highlighting. That's the only critique I would make on this piece. All right. We're looking good on time. Let me go take a PB break. I'll be right back, guys. Give me a second. Was I muted this whole time? Bro, I did so much hot promos. Did such... Did so many hot promos. Just, just Dude, I said some of the tightest shit I've ever said.
And the playlist is broken again. <laughs> so, I was letting everyone know. Exclamation point info if you're new here. You earn points just for watching and donating. Bail out swag, courtesy of these sponsors. That's how we do. I'm back. Started shipping immediately back from Adepticon. And now we have no more big obligations this year. I know Recoil is going so hard, man. I don't know if I can do this anymore. I have to cancel the stream. <laughs> so, if you're also looking to get good, a big part of my business now is teaching on Patreon exclamation point class. I've graduated over 300 students from my curriculum personally, one on one. Exclamation point class, get on Patreon, need that money. And of course, every year after Adepticon, I give away my convention badge. I didn't even pick it up. I didn't pick it up until Sunday, guys, on my way out. I forgot about it. So it's, I didn't even wear it. So it's not even. So I, I put it on and walked to my hotel room and took it off. So these commemorative, awesome. I mean, look, look at this shit. Look, look how awesome this lanyard is. So. I always give this out, so we have a top three. And that top three includes a sack of bits. This is all the leftover bits for my Lord of Skulls project. Pawn uh, exclusive mini from Pot Goes the Monkey. Captain Ursula Claw. Looks she looks kinda like a, like a gangster ass battle sister. And, of course, the badge. I'll sign the badge if someone wants me to. No essence, Dick Kenny. That's right. Hardly any stank got on it. Bro, I swear to God. What is, the playlist is just straight busted. Scott, look, look, maybe it would use something else. Maybe there's another playlist that we can use. Brad Coat says, throw in an old toothbrush and a man. I've got one in this drawer right here. So that's our promos. That's how I make money, guys. If you didn't know, that's how I pay my bills. Appreciate you guys. Now, we did some priming in the first act. You guys want me to keep pushing through, pull the airbrush back out, and get some and get some paint slung with the airbrush, or do you want to see me jump in on this assembly, build this guy? I know what I would pick, but I just ask. Oh, and I forgot. I forgot I was supposed to pre-highlight. I forgot about this axe. It's, it's, it's magnetized to my uh, camera arm. Here's the con exclusive mini right here. Heroes of the Heresy series. So that's part of the giveaway. Get back on the airbrush. Chris, thanks for liking my stream on Facebook, brother.
Well, now that I see that I left this X up here, I kind of want to jump on that. Let me see. I'm kind of into this now. Looking at it, feeling it, touching it. Let's get the, we got, either way, I gotta get the airbrush back on. Because I forgot to hit it even with a second coat. Well, yeah, I mean, spawn, part of the sponsor content is when it gets done, when it gets done, because I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I don't do commissions in my uh, workflow is subject to change. I feel like you guys all know that, so. Don't feel too bad. Gooby wants to see that air, that airbrush. Just rinsing some of the solvent out. Pitching right there. There's some dirt, dirt and debris in there. Dry ass paint. Let's get some white in there. Right. So just it's just transparent white.
that she's doing a tri blend. Just hitting that spine right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, painting. What's up, brother? So we don't get to listen to music anymore. Okay. Too much white down there. Love that ride. <coughs> okay, let's dump it. Sure, we're looking okay. We're not okay. Still some transparent white in the pot. So, don't know why my player is just broken today. Straight broken. Eileen, a source. So quiet, so serious. Painting is serious business. All right. So we want blue shoulders and magenta arms. So let's, 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 let's sort the magenta out. All right, what we're going to do is We're going to start with Okay, that's it's about to open another transparent red. Transparent red. Little magenta Water. Long prover.
So let's uh let's get this arm squared up, okay? Just gonna lightly filter some of our magenta. There's the armor panel. Let that relax. All right. Tolus UK, what's up, brother? Same thing. Let's just filter some of this over. Get these armored limbs. Same thing right here. I'm not. I'm not doing like a value paint. Just want high saturation. So that's why we prime the models with such a bright gray toward the tops of things. Just to help get that stick. That's all, get that max saturation. Get the hand. Just barely pulling that trigger back. I'm gonna just hit it and quit it. Doing my best to not get it all over the rest of the model. Make it easier for the future. Rick Darris says, dude, a restaurant gig? Yeah, man. I pick up uh, part-time shifts locally. Sam Hamwich, how many PSI do you have in your compressor? Low 20s. Scooby, uh, parts prime gray. Yeah, everything's gray right now. Okay, so now... Looking for some bold titanium. Got it. Rick says he's got a culinary arts degree. Do you work at Long John Silver's too? Little water. Let's 
So now we're going to start bringing that hype train back in. We're not, we're not lingering too long. Say. Barely pulling the trigger back. Here we'll go center. We're gonna, let, we're gonna have Zenithal right here. One plus saves. Yeah, this is this is this magenta and transparent red, and now with some white added. And I'm gonna go back over it. I'm gonna filter it. We're just trying to bring that respectful kiss into it. And what we're going to do next is dump the pot. I'm going to get this pale pink out of there. So I'm looking for right there. Let's grab some transparent white. We're gonna go back a step. Back to where we started. We drop a flow improver. And we're going to go back and pump it up. Turn the light down. It was some air. It was some air. We're letting it. We don't want it to get wet on wet here.
let that let that settle down. We're pulling the trigger back until something happens, and then we just stay locked in, okay? Don't sit there and watch it get wet. Just see the subtle shift occur and move. Let it dry. I put the flow improver in it, so it's going to slow the dry time down. So you do have to navigate around that. When we're stacking opacity like this. Yeah, it, it can't be wet on wet. It has to dry. So the flow improver helps us uh, immensely with our airbrush control, but it does slow the dry down. Of course, if I was just using water, it would be drying much faster. So I'm building it up slowly, you see? So that way I can kind of keep it flawless. And I'm directing more and more opacity toward the peaks. I'll let that dry for a minute. Face. Coming back from Adepticon, I'm ready to go. I want my Edge Lords tabletop guys. I want them to be ready playing games. So hype. Recoil says, wasn't it so nice of the devilishly handsome and, and generous mystery viewer that donated four bottles of Flow River to you? <laughs> yes. Been out of Flow River for like half a year, maybe a year. Let that dry. Move back here. Shout out to Recoil. We're just angling our flow to catch the tops of things. Feeling that we got 40 minutes left in our giveaway today. Exclamation point. How did that happen? What layer is that? Oh, that's weird. Want to get some tunes back on, but our, my fucking paid for fucking shit is all broken. Got 
Meticulous Chaos. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Exclamation point. Akon in the house. Dark Jameson. What's up, dog? Let's keep it going. Want to stack it a little bit further? Warhawk, thanks for the follow, brother. Waldos, what's up, player? Look at all these legends tuning in. Adepticon was a blast. 256 players in the long war doubles. Worked, worked all day. Partied all night. Met a lot of people. Giving away our con badge. Signed, of course. Along with a Mystery Sacco Bits and Icon exclusive Pop Goes the Monkey Mini handed to me personally by Matt. Darth, what's up? Just got back from my little dude's chorus concert. Forget to check out the show. Thanks, man. How's your little dude doing? What's it's chorus the one where they sing? All right, let's get this out of here. Okay, so now what we want to do is bring some of that saturation back in. Transparent red, water, blown purple. Lower that opacity. What we want to do now is resaturate this guy. Backwards now. Proud dad moment, Darth. That's awesome, man. Happy for you. So I'm gonna just kiss the shadow. See? You see how we're heating that thing back up? That shit. See, we just brought it back to that. Pure saturated magenta. Waldo says, Did you already do whips? I did, sir. Do not like the East Coast schedule. Very hard to watch. 
I know, man. I changed the whole thing around. Jungle Matthew, what's up, brother? Got mad control. That's what I teach my students, man. This is normal control. This is regular. All my all my students can do this. So basically, we're just pulling the trigger back as little as possible. All my students know the secrets. That heat. Some might say secretly easy. That's right, the gentleman. All right. I'm looking forward to this. Go for it. So I'm sneaking in on the earmuffs right now. Yeah, I want to, I want that face to be at, kind of out of control. But lower the opacity even more. More water. Who that? Jimmy Gee. Let me get some strong man love and chat right there. 18. 18 legends coming over to our chat right meow. GG. Ziggy, what's up? Recoil's mom just donated $65 to my broke ass. Coming back from Adepticon. Exclamation point Akon, exclamation point Cool Moms Club. Strong Woman Love Recoils Mom has got it going on. And doing what we can. There's Demi. We are doing some hot magenta action right now.
And we're just trying to kind of ultra saturate this. And we're just so we're just doing like a slight filter. I'll show you where we're at. Got one last piece. Reappray, whose face was that on the objective marker? I don't know. That's from that's an XBZ inside joke. I don't know whose face that really is. That was Wyatt's objective marker. Hey, man. Red coat. Thanks, dog. Let me give some strong man little chat for red coat just fucking because he says dropping three nine six three nine nine six. Nice. Thanks, brother. I appreciate your support. Literally. Uh Makes me so happy to know that you uh, find value in my content, and it is extremely validating. Thank you, brother. So a lot of this we're going to do with pin washing strategies later. But there's one thing I wanted to get to before we fully switch, flip the script. And so let me show you guys. Let me, let's see where we're at right now. So this is where we're at on the piece for our edge lords, Lord of Skulls. This part is magnetized. It's gonna fucking fly. And we've got arms, shoulders will be blue. Like like his other armor panels, they're, not, they're just primed. So, but the these will be in that magenta spectrum. We're gonna cut all the trim back in, and the head too. But where I want to take, I want to do one thing with the head. I want to because we are we are 1985 in Miami right now. That's like where the Edge Lords are from. That's where they hail from. That's like their section of the warp. Gotta let your star shine. So I'm just rinsing my brush. to clear the pot before we move. Because so what I'm going to do next, we can't have a bunch of magenta messing around in there. Oh, this is a little bit of a slowdown. We got to get cleaner. Meticulous. On an unrelated note, how do we update our address with you for a swag bags? Oh, shit. You're back in Georgia? Damn, I think I, I was just looking at your fucking swag bags, dude. Uh... Do we have, are we, are we contacts on Facebook? Meticulous, aren't we? Okay, there, okay. So this is 
But your airbrush is clogged. This is 99% how you of how I teach my students to fix it. So you see right here. See the needle. But you see how there's still some paint there? The needle's right here, yo. So that is usually what's causing all your problems is that is that there's some paint wrapped around in there you see and by just gently toilet snaking the paint out usually that's all you need Did you just add me meticulous? Hold on. Give me one second because I don't want to forget. And uh, anybody else who needs to update their address, best uh, it's better to hit me on Facebook. But if you're a first time shippy, then you whisper me here. Did you just add me or request me? Like, was uh. Requested. Why am I not seeing it yet? It should be like the first thing on my on my shit, right? Ah, oh, found you. We should be queued up. Respond to my message. Got him. Exclamation point info. If you're new here, it's a big part of what we do. Is we ship swag bags. We've been a little admittedly behind uh, due to the last eight months of my life going off the rails in some ways. Back on the rails in other ways. So what we need now is we need to get back to the to the transparent white exploit. Okay, so We need to go like 1% harder than that. So we're going to use actual bold titanium white. Blow improver. Now, fortunately, we have to go back to the dump. Gotta let you start. 
19 minutes left. Exclamation point Akon if you want to play. Reprises. Let's get the white out of the pot. Does anyone, what is, does anybody know? Whoever can guess what I'm going to do next. 100 Yo Dogs. First one to guess. Dark Jameson. Okay, let's see. Red. Transparent red. Nope, nope. We already did that, guys. Love minis. White. We just did white. Now. What's the next thing I'm doing? Why did I do everything I just did? Why did I go back and make that thing white again? We already did the transparent red. We did we, we did the white. Why are we doing this? I gave you guys a hint earlier. 1980s. Miami. That's where my guys are from. That's where their that's where their portal and the warp opens to. Needless go. The whole thing is neon pink already. I already did it. Recoil got it, sunrise. Recoil did it first. Recoil wins. Well plus saves got a second. So, red, uh, so, recoil said sunrise. 100 yo dogs to recoil. And red coat answered it perfectly. He said yellow. So, give red coat 100 yo dogs too. Okay, one plus saves gets recoils yo dogs. So, because of color theory and nonsense, our whole fire sunset is going to come from just this yellow over the magenta. We don't need any other color because the magenta is going to do it all. Sixteen minutes left. Thank you, love minis. So we're gonna filter now. Just a little. So that's the classic Sunrise CMYK right there. And you see how the, it's just becoming orange because of the interaction between it and Magenta.
Be like corn would love coke. Wolf grave? Hell yeah, he would. That's right, in the 80s, cocaine did you. <laughs> Wolf grave. It started all thing. So now, stop again. Gotta let your star shine brighter than the sun. Take us all for a ride. Now the game's begun. Now the game's begun. Go back to the white. A little transparent white on top again. And when you have these big models, I can go back and forth and really knock it out the way I want. So we have we white we we bit we whited up the yellow. Got to kiss the uh, the absolute edge of it like that. And then we're going to detail like the teeth, all that nonsense in his hat. Like his silly corn hat needs to get all that detail pulled out of it. We call the Edge Lord section is probably the scariest bit of the, the work. Electronic keyboard pop music in the background, cocaine in the air everywhere. Guys wearing suits with t-shirts underneath. Wall to wall plastic booze. Nice. Sly Wizard, welcome back, Kenny. Like them shorts. Thanks, dude. Shoes without socks. Did it. So we got. We didn't get the shoulders laid out yet. I mean, we got them primed. But they go. They're 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 blue. Gotta leave it with a coke stash. <laughs> yeah. It's like you do it. It's like you do a little white pre pre highlight OSL and never add a color. So we got to clean this out because there can't be yellow in it when we do the blue shoulder pads. That's that's not tight. Okay. So we have to do We have to really thoroughly clean this guy. So I'm going to leave it here in the simple green. Let's put the tip back on. Trying to get in the habit of keeping my workspace tidier.
Is it a goddamn savage? I want to be. Think I can be better? All this 80s talk makes you want to play Vice City. That was the best one. I should be getting, uh, I talked to Game Envy at Adepticon, and we uh, are mutually interested in working together, so we might have some new cool stuff in the beach live here soon. Angels sing out in an immaculate chorus, down from the heavens descended Chuck Norris. Mythios, what's up brother, 32 months back to Bizak. Recoil. I bought two clear acrylic nail polish stands for my paints. Like, wait, s send me a link to what you got. So, here's where we're at. Here's where we're at with the chassis, as I've been saying. Just heated up these arms. And they're preposterous now. And we gotta cut all the nonsense back in. But you see, these shoulders lay huge over the top. But you can see so much of the arms still. So the way I'm reading it is that you see how his chest is the magenta, so his arms will be magenta. These will be blue like his armor panels. So I'm really just trying to lay the guy out in a more creative way by breaking up his armor. Right? So I think this is going to be one of the more, my opinion, one of the best compositions I've seen personally for Lord of Skulls. Because normally it's just like, it's all one color and you paint the trim. Sure, you can do like sick transitions, but like the way we're breaking up the armor, in my opinion, I think is the is the best composition I've seen. And then here's our 80s callback right there. We'll get all that trim locked in, all the details there. We'll do all the little teeth and everything inside the fucking ghost shapes. And then we're gonna go we're gonna just crack out on making this axe sick as fuck. And we did magnetize this axe today. this arm so magnetic torso magnetic arms magnetic hand and we love for transportation purposes you can't break them down you can't you can't take them places Mateo, what's up, brother? <laughs> what the hell? Got a random sequence of text. Gotta let your star shine. Brighter than the sun. Take us all for a ride. Less than five minutes left in our promo. Recoils mom red coat war pigment. It is the top three. Anyone who slots in, but remember the final four always make it to our top D Grand Prix.
Synth World Eaters, Sly Wizard. Uh, it's just chaos, bro. It's, it's synth wave style chaos. It's my Edge Lords project. Uh, if you know anything uh, about my past, you might know that like the green purple color scheme that has become kind of popular these days. Uh, that was me. I made that up 10, 10, 13 years ago. And uh, I was laughed off of DACA. Well, not off DACA. I was laughed at. Called an idiot. While I was literally cashing checks with that color scheme. I did Tau, Eldar, Space Marines, Chaos. It was my personal arc. Needless guilt, my guy. Thank you for the support, brother. I truly appreciate it, man. Very validating to have you find value in my content. Thank you. This is how I pay my bills. So, that color scheme is kind of standard now. The green and purple pinks, that's standard. A lot of people use that. Uh, and so, we decided when I, now that I'm going to do my own a new Chaos Army, we needed to workshop a new color scheme. And we actually have a tutorial on that on Patreon of us workshopping the color scheme, creating a proof of concept, and then making it shelf stable. We did it on Five Possessed and a Warpsmith, and then on this War Dog. So this is our, our our scheme. The Edge Lords are, you know, Magenta and Cyan, with uh, sometimes green lenses or things inside of things are green, with the occasional uh, orange OSL. And this is the newest entry into the Edge Lords project. Our Lord of Skulls for our for this sick army list I have. Exclamation point uh, access if you want to jump on Patreon and see those tutorials. Meticulous chaos, my guy. Dropping that uh three is that that's five X. He Mark of the Beast times five. That's my guy right there. Meticulous chaos. He is meticulous. And he is chaotic. And I got some swag bags for you. Uh where was I that? Meticulous Chaos, he knows all about the green and, and the purple. My man's been around for for long enough. Minute 20 overtime. Meticulous Chaos, dropping some financial support on my sweet ass. Now I will put, top three get swag. But, somebody, did I ever give a, recoil, didn't you win, didn't you win my, did some did I ever give this away? My LVO wristband? Did I like not give this away or did I give this away, Requel? You gotta get swift. Because we're in overtime, here. baby. It's time to get swifty. Uh oh. We gotta get swifty. Oh yeah. Take off your pants and your panties. Shit on the floor. Minute 50 overtime. I didn't give this away yet, right? Like I was going to, but then shit happened, right? 
Yeah, recoil. You have one of these from 2023. So I was gonna give it away. Then I got fucking COVID and shit, and then I fucking had to go to Austin. So this is the secret fourth prize. So it's a top four. Top pick gets the pick, and then it filters down the line. So actually, all four people up there will get something, you know, not necessarily valuable, but something important and historic to our community. And thank you, Needless Guilt, for your support. With 56 seconds left. You guys are all stable up there now. Forty seconds of overtime. We're looking good. Twenty five seconds left. And a reset. My man Aquila with the reset. It's only a bit, but it helps. Because, but it helps you as you start fresh and continue on. It's worth it. Much love, brother. I appreciate it, dude. Every bit counts, man. You're right. I live with my parents. I'm 40. I've domesticated my business to Florida. Paid all my domestication fees. We just did corporate tax filing. And we have personal tax filing. And once I get over this hurdle, like... We are fresh, brother. We are starting. Because I got everything. I, I paid off my debts. Like, I've been working meticulously at that. Waldos, thank you. Says, want to give me yo dogs for the donation last Friday? Yeah, what was that? I saw that there was a donation last Friday stuck in there. Well, how much was it? Like, 19 or it's 20? I saw a donation in the pipeline. It was a 40 spot. Mid of 53. Love minis, can you give Waldo's 800 yo dogs, please? I was I, I was like, is this thing not tracking right? I was confused. Waldo's, I appreciate your love, brother. 66 months. The Sam Ham, which says, didn't I just have two months? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Twitch is fucked. The Tickler says, you plan on moving back to California eventually? Uh, like, that was initially my hot take, for sure. Uh, I just don't know how viable that really is. Uh, want to stay close to my mom. You know, she's in her 70s. She goes to the doctors like three times a week and shit, so I kind of feel like I live here now. And we've gotten through... A lot of financial hurdles in the last eight months. We have one left. Tax season. Uh, and then I can actually begin thinking of like where I'm going to move. I'm going to get my own place. Things like that. So I am looking forward to that. Thanks to you guys. Waldo says, figured you were doing the doubles and I kicked something in. I was doing the doubles and you did kick something in. Thank you, brother. Jeff White says, once I get a job, I'm going to send you some love, Circle K. Thank you. Jeff White, thanks, man. I've been working real hard at clearing debt. Ten seconds left in overtime. Last five seconds. Thanks, guys. Let me find the notebook. Oh. Man, we just haven't been streaming that much this month. Still on one page. Oh, wild. We've been all over the fucking country this month. Kind 
Not the compressor, sorry. Oh, and you guys got to pick. Caddy Payne, I'll stay close to my mom. I'll stay in this town. <laughs> Scooby, thank you, man. Uh, Baldos, you posted a whip, this orc. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Re Recoil's mom. What do you what's your your first pick? What do you want? Waldo's on deck. Model. Second pick, red coat. Meticulous? It's not that much cheaper. A lot of that shit's a myth. This is what I've come to find out, dude. Like, my friend Alan lives in the valley, Los Angeles County. Works at the studios, pays nineteen hundred for rent, and like there's places in my town in such as county that are nineteen hundred. Now of course they're fucking way bigger and nicer, but it's like it's not the same. Not it's not crazy savings like I thought it was. I thought shit was gonna be so fucking cheap. It's like twenty thirty percent cheaper. Red coat. You've got a mystery bag of bits from what's left over from my Lord of Skulls. You've got my Adepticon con badge or my LVO wristband. Badge. Now it's Meticulous Chaos. Sack of bits for the wristband. 20 30, not crazy cheaper. 20 or 30, no, it's not crazy cheaper. Not to justify a cross country move to a low, to like a region of the country where the medium income is $30,000 a year and there's no work. Like, I'm just lucky that I work from the internet. Like, take my circumstances out of the equation. Meticulous wristband. And Waldo's mystery bag. <laughs> yeah and also one plus saves you have to so you're saying like 20 to 30 percent cheaper and uh 300 percent more confederate flags you know what i'm saying Greg Hunter was nice to finally meet you at Adepticon. I'm glad we got to meet. Meticulous. No, see that's that's the part that see that's where it gets smart. It gets smart. It's like how do I come? How do you go to the region and cut costs? Not spend the same amount of money for more. That's where a lot of people fuck up. It's like oh, if I spent the same amount of money in Florida, look how much more I get. Nah, cut it.
YouTube has two viewers on it right now. Let's see. YouTube has six viewers according to my software. Yeah, YouTube sucks. Redco isn't Florida just full of New Yorkers now? I mean, I know one guy from New York. New Jersey, that doesn't count. They get mad, right? <laughs> so no, like ultimately I'm gonna stay in the Citrus County for a while. I don't want to be close to my mom. I've kinda been away from home for like 20 years, 19 years. So this has been nice. There's just nothing here, and airports are an hour and a half away. But I can deal with that. Dr. D, how long was it? Hollywood? Eight years. And then I was in North Carolina for three years. And then I was in Colorado for 10 years. Jeffrey White. Yeah, I'm working on the car since, dude. Uh... I got my upholstery redone on my truck today. I got new tires on it last week before. This, I'm a, it's, I've been dropping money, dude. It's just, mm, just getting my car correct. I have a 20 year old truck, but it's, it runs good. It's just beat the fuck up. So I got my upholstery redone today. New tires. I've got a, a quote for a new paint job because it is bad. Got some rust spots. And then my vehicle sitch is unlocked. And now I can, I'm, I'm good to go. Needs to be done. Exactly, Jeff. Dr. D, yep. 2001 Tundra. Nice. Ah, meticulous timing. For sure. <laughs> you spray on glue and cut carpet, Jeffrey. Lasted about a week. Thank you guys so much for thinking of me and helping me out and giving me advice. I do appreciate it. Uh, let's set up a raid. Let's go kick it over to Wyatt. I think he's on. He's back from a Devticon. Uh, Wyatt is on. He's back from a Devticon. I think he might be on. Is he? Or, is, or did he take a break today? He might have taken a break. Looks like he's taking a break today. Because he traveled on Sunday. Or on Monday. He traveled Monday, so he's probably taking a break. Because he's not like 100% back. He's like 90% back. So, take, you know. But it was the first time the whole crew was together in two years. So, that it was real nice. Thank you guys again. Recalls Mom, Red Coat, Meticulous Cast, Waldos. Uh, Love Minis, who are we bringing that raid life to? You don't see anyone on? Literally, okay, let's click the Warhammer button. We'll see. Literally, okay, let's click the Warhammer button. Uh, Bay Story is painting Warhammer. It's like one person. This ain't bound to fish. Okay, so I got it. Face story. Dream. One Warhammer painter. Tall feet picks. Hey, thank you for following next page. Oh, what's up, dude? Hey. Uh, she just. I was. I've been in your stream a couple. I was times. creeping. Out. Okay, we're gonna raid her. Because mom, thank you. Hey, Kraus, it's good seeing you at Devticon. Fuck yeah, man. It was so fun. Okay, the raid is queued up. We're going to bring length, girth, and positivity to... 
Bay story. I'll see you guys again for the podcast, the Depticon recap. On Thursday, I'm teaching all week. Then we'll be back on Friday and Saturday. So try to book me for class. Get on Patreon. As always, until we meet again, play on, players. It's broken. Broken.